Let's talk about bumps here and talk about artificial intelligence and what we saw happen last week between Microsoft's chat GPT, which is that new uh, language like it's really amazing, right? When you think about it, it's kind of unnerving a little bit to me, quite honestly. We can talk about that. But then we had Google's Bard, which was a complete uh, wasn't I wouldn't say it's a failure, but did not perform the way they wanted it to. And investors took 11% out of the stock very quickly. And you've, yes. got, the, you've got the Chinese kind of jumping in with their own uh, uh, competitor to this space. So let's talk about that, Tony, and, and time, what that means for artificial intelligence stocks, the sector, and for individuals. You know, it, it is a big deal. You know, I think about those big revolutionary disruptive events. You know, the first one that most of us can remember was the internet in the 90s, right? <laughs> yeah. That, that was the big one. But then the next big, big innovation was the mobile net when we start doing everything over our cell phones. And I think the third one is what you're seeing now, just the tip of it, is going to be this artificial intelligence. But I think it's the enthusiasm is kind of misplaced for BARD and chat GPX. And uh, what's the China one called, uh, Kenny? Uh, Ernie. It's called Ernie. Ernie. Yeah. And I you remember know, I, when I read it, I was going, okay, where's Bert? Because if there's Bert's going to be somewhere, right? <laughs> well, me, me too. I guess that, sh that shows our mental age, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, that's exciting. Nice. But, but the most exciting part about AI is how corporate America is going to incorporate it into their businesses to become more profitable. I want to talk about one in specific. It's a company called C3.AI, okay. and it has the best ticker uh, you could imagine for this, this field. The ticker is AI, right. and it is, it's one of the very top leading uh, AI providers in the, in the, in the world. Right. What they do is they make it possible for corporations to get AI into their business without hiring this big staff of nerds to do it in-house. And so it's a way to outsource it and do it cheaply and effectively. And look at this chart with uh, C3.AI. Uh, uh, I'm looking at it right now. The move from January, when it was trading about 10 bucks, till early February, it, it topped 30. It had a dramatic, dramatic move in a very short time. Yes, you know, and that's just a tip. There's going to be more, but you know, it really moves up a lot, and it can move down a lot. But it's it's going to, going higher. But what I'm really talking about is the focus of their customers. A year ago, almost ninety six per ninety six ninety seven percent of their customers were from the oil and gas industry. Right. And by the way, that kind of has to do with ground penetrating radar and the uncovering vast seas of oil. Right. But, but now, take fast forward to today. And look, that concentration in oil and gas has dropped to 46%. Not that they're losing that oil and gas business, but because other parts of corporate America are jumping on the bandwagon and throwing money at C3.ai uh, to get, get AI into their business. And that is the real thing to get excited about. Corporate America wants to jump on board. Well, I think corporate America has to jump on board because the world is changing so quickly. I mean, look, let's just talk about this chat GPT, what it did to, you know, what it's doing, what it's doing to the markets, to people, you know, quite, you, you can ask it a, you can ask it a very simple question and it writes a complete response to you that you would think was written by a human being, right? Yes. You know, which is very cool and, or write term papers or biographies, right. but it's not going to help you. Uh, you know, maximize your in, maximize your inventory spending, or to find new vast oceans of oil underneath the ocean. Those type of things. That's the real power of power. artificial intelligence and big data. It's right. not writing term papers and uh, and articles. No, no, I, I agree. But I think that the term paper and article, it, it's almost like it's the it's the you know, it's very much in its infant stages. And you're right. Artificial intelligence is really going to pay off in where you talk about finding vast, vast uh, swaths of oil and, and uh, all that kind of stuff. I think it's going to be very, very exciting. But it's going to start somewhere. And when you look at what's going on in artificial intelligence and the, and the, the strides that we've made in a very short time, it really is both amazing and a little bit unnerving. 
Yeah, but that's what got to, that is what has the public so excited. Right. And they're taking a look at Google and Microsoft and Apple and uh, Baidu from China. But that's just a tiny bit of their overall business. Right. And so if you really want to invest in AI, those big tech behemoths are not the way to do it. They're going to benefit from it. They're going to make some money and it will positively impact their profits going forward. But it's not going to give you that mega bang for your buck like C3.ai will.